our scripture today continues our journey through the Sermon on the Mount and we are on chapter 6 verse 24 no one can serve two masters either you will hate the one and love the other or you will be loyal to the one and have contempt for the other you cannot serve God so I want you to close your eyes and breathe in deeply smell that budding earth growing around the apple trees blossoming the crab apples blooming and on your breath Jesus, you ask us to stop today and think about who we give our heart and our lives to, who we turn over what is all of our being to. Because you tell us that, you tell us how hard it is. If you try to serve, if you try to work for both God and someone else, in this case you tell us money, and we think about our relationship to money, our confusing, conflicting, troubled relationship to money. For those of us who end up having jobs that have a little more what we spend our money on tells you a lot about what we feel is important, who it is we are serving. For those of us who don't have very much money, there isn't any extra to use. That we have to work in order to eat, in order to have a house, in order to survive. So money becomes a god because without it we are in danger of losing our lives. So how do we figure out how to serve you? How do we figure out how to give our hearts and our lives and our will and our being to you? How do we turn over that part of ourselves that have to worry about money, that has to worry about how we will live and how we will thrive and how we will survive? So God, we ask you to stop here with us for a moment to show us how we can better serve you, can better work for you, can better be the ones who bring your will here on earth. And God, we ask you to surround those we love with your presence and with your love. Be with those on our hearts and minds who we are worried about. We're worried about them because of what's happening in their lives, about the relationships that are breaking up, about the grief they're going through, about the sickness that they are experiencing. What about the end of life issues that they are confronting? Oh God, we ask you to be with our friends and our family and those on our hearts that you may surround them with your love. And oh God, we pray for your world. A world where money has become the God. Where it's so important to make money, to collect money, to store money, to keep money tightly fisted. And 
you ask us to let our hands open up and release that money, to share that money out with all the world. And so there are those places, those people, the lands that are be being torn apart because of money. Send your servants. Send those of us who can speak your truth. God, be with us this day. Be with your world. Be with your elected, the elected officials around the world who have to make decisions about money. Guide and direct their hands and their hearts that you open them up to the possibility of a world that's different, a world where no one struggles to eat, no one struggles to find a house, no one is kept apart and separated. We ask this all in the name of your Son who taught us to love and love unconditionally. Amen.